Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode on the Lotus SMP. No, I did not do any progress on this guy in between episodes. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it, which means uh, the, the deadline that I had set for myself for to get this done, like uh, the deadline of like a week ago, is being pushed back even further, but honestly, I think that's okay. Honestly, when compared to certain individuals, I think I'm doing all right on the status of my house being finished. <laughs> this has been going on for, I don't know how many months now, but come on, Buzzy. Come on, it's so small, you can finish it, please. Anyways, yeah, so I, I think my base progress is just fine. I, I am, with what I have right now, significantly further ahead than a bunch of people in like base size, you know, compares comparison. So I think we're, we're chilling, we're chilling. I think it'd be really funny to finish my base before Buzzy finishes hers. Literally just gonna swoop in and absolutely throw that dude up in just a couple weeks, whenever she's been taking a lifetime on that. And honestly, I'm not sure what the state of like everyone else on the server is house building wise, but I know, I know some people aren't doing so hot. Which is one thing I just kind of wanted to do today, was go around and check out some of these these portals that I've just seen pop up and have no clue what they're for. This one kind of being the main one. What is, what is this? Is, is this some kind of mob vote thing? What is going on here? I've never been to over here before. Where the heck is this? I've never been here before. What is this? Huh? This is so big and decorated and built up. <laughs> this is... Oh wait, is this a... Uh, is this Chespies? That looks like his face. This thing looks so cool. Holy cow. All right, all right. I have to step up my interior decorating. This looks so pretty. What are you? What's up here? I'm starting to believe that this isn't something to do with the mob vote. I think this is just their house, but it looks so sick. I am a huge fan. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> you can see it! You can see my base right there! I didn't think this would be that close. I wonder what's going on right over here. You can probably tell I've spent a significant quantity of my time just chilling over there in my little area. I have not done much exploring around the server, really in any capacity, like at all, in quite a while. Is that a blue sheep? What the heck are you doing there? There's so much going on. And it looks like this area actually has a whole lot more going on in it than I than I last anticipated. There's so many builds going on around the, like th this place, I feel it can get super tight knit. And I know there's a lot more going on over in this part of the map too. I, I wonder how close together they are because with the way this one, that one, that, oh, this one, that one, that one, over there, over there, over there, we're all so close to each other. I mean, like, even Skipper's close to me too. Like we could all, get really, really nice and combined together. Which feels really weird because there's such a gap in between whatever's going on here and like all the stuff that's happening way over here. Yeah, I feel like another heavy competitor for closeness is this area as well. It's got like, can I highlight the map? Yeah, like these guys in it. This area is another, another faction that's kind of all close together. So we got, we got like this area, we got this area, and I believe the other one is like here. Here, I think is the other one. I, you know, these little settlements would be really fun to play with. Who is this? They got a lot of stuff going on. I don't remember who that is though. But there's like one, two, and then the little guys down here. Those, those would be fun to put together for something. Also, I don't know who did this, who built all of this, but this is actually an insane amount of work that I just like missed. Like, who? Who's, who's been doing this? This looks incredible. I love the environment that they've built here. It just keeps going too. They've done so- Oh my gosh. Are these all custom? Holy cow. These are all- These are all custom. I would assume not like completely custom, but like shaped and stuff, right? Holy cow. Someone put in the work. Oh my gosh. Gamers, I think I need to, uh, I think, I think I need to try harder. Holy cow. Honestly, I don't know who's all this is. But seeing all the flowers around here, I have a sneaking suspicion that this area would be... I mean, I would assume it's squid, but this, this doesn't feel like her style. I don't know who this is, but it is incredible. Wait, no. This is not what I think it is. Are these all... Are these all dye farms? Wait a second. Hold on. Where is the output for these? Wait, maybe this doesn't output anywhere. Hold on. No, I'm too curious. I'm sorry if this breaks something. What kind of flowers does this make? Oh my gosh. 
This is, these are dye farms. That's crazy. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, where can I safely put these? I can put these in here, right? There you go, those are, those are for you. I'm not taking them. Holy cow, this area is so pretty. This is so well done. Yeah, no, the fact that those were all flower farms definitely furthers my belief that it's squid. And if that's the case, she did all of this and like at least that over there that's actually crazy and i need i need to pick up my slack i need to work harder always nice to take a trip around the server every once in a while to remind yourself that you could be doing better don't vote crap thank you have a nice day i'm really curious if we've been able to get oh hey look squid's in the game hold on i could ask her who, if that's her stuff but in the meantime i'm really curious oh yes we've got some stock off of our hands Unfortunately, I don't think this was gravel. I think this was probably all quartz, which I do need to restock. And that brings me to a talking point that I'll need to bring up at some point though, on the quartz. Yeah, no, definitely haven't gotten gravel off my hands. Yeah, I'm at the point where I almost have, like I almost have two full double chests. No, I probably do have two full double chests of shulker boxes of gravel at this point that I, j I just can't get rid of. I just can't get off my hands because no one wants it, but I don't want to get rid of it because it's so much gravel. What if at some point someone needs them? Just like I needed all of the blackstone, you know? What if, what if someone needs them? So I don't want to get rid of them, but I'm getting to the point where it's just like, I have so much of it. I just want to start giving it away for free. Unfortunately though, someone else was decided that they wanted to open a gravel shop or is planning to. So I, I don't think like I'm selling it, Legend's selling it, and one other person's selling it. I really don't think I should be giving it out for free. But like getting into the gravel selling market at this point, it's gonna be so hard because if they undercut me, I, I mean, per the server rules, we have funky rules when it comes to shops, right? I'm not sure if I can then decide and undercut them myself, but I most certainly can and have the inventory too. And I do not care about the diamonds I get from that. I just want one diamond back per shulker box. Literally, I'm fine. I'm fine with selling those shulker boxes for one diamond and literally just like giving away this stuff for the one diamond. Anyways, on the quartz topic, I have a bunch of quartz that I'm gonna go restock soon, but I am highly considering redoing my farm and making it like so oh, wrong button like sword looting based so that it drops even more gold because the design that I have right now is not the most efficient one and I think it's quite unfortunate that I've decided that I really want to do this after I spent the literal hold on let's open the statistics tab many days <laughs> I'm at 38 days the majority of that is almost all afk time like I probably have maybe three or four maybe five days of actual play time the rest of that's afk time and that was spent here I, I probably could have done that so much quicker but I want to do that because the server has a dire need for quartz in like huge quantities and I want to be able to supply that the downside or the, the consequence of ramping up my quartz uh, you know generation is that will drastically ramp up my gravel generation and I will have so much more than I need that I don't want to get rid of and also it'll get me tons more blackstone that I have like I already have a lot becoming stocked up and uh, the nether nether sorry soul sand so we, we don't even talk about soul sand I have so much soul sand I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with this and of course, there's other things like arrows that I could consider just like deleting and string I could probably consider deleting and leather I can consider deleting. But yeah, we're gonna have so many more items that no one wants to buy, but I don't want to get rid of. And so it's going to absolutely tank their value, but I'm pretty like the market's artificially set up where I can't really lower prices that far. So I don't know. We'll see what we do later, but th that's not that's not a now problem. That's a that's a later issue. What is a now issue though is that Lightning, through the kindness of her heart, gave me a whole bunch of frog lights, which is absolutely beautiful because I wanted to use frog lights to finish out Timmy's area. So let's just uh, plop this guy down and what, what's a good a good light to put in here? I'm gonna, what does ochre look like? Oh, ochre looks pretty. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of ochre. Ochre goes in here. You know, I wasn't really planning on just throwing them among the plants, but I think it turns out pretty well actually. We'll just throw them in there like that. I think that looks fine. And then up top, I'm not quite sure where I want them. Maybe we just put them on the... Oh, maybe we don't put them on the corner. We'll put them on the bottom side. Yeah. And then line that one up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now I think we can consider that finished. I think it's all spawn proofed. I mean, up here might not be, but I'll check later when it's dark because I can't really check now. Thank you very much, Lightning, for going way overkill on handing out free frog lights. That is very nice. However, I can more than completely understand why she's handing these guys out for free because the entire time I'm AFKing up, oh, oh you can't see it. The entire time I'm, I'm AFKing up there, this guy is loaded and generating. 
And uh, I can't remember if I showed this off at some point, but her setup is literally just dumping them in lava, wherever the lava is. Yeah, she's just dumping them in lava. She has an un a never ending supply of these that she's not going to need. So I would like to get my hands on Timmy this episode. I, I feel like that's something that I really need to do and you know, start, start doing things with Timmy. But the thing is, I mean, oh wait, no, <laughs> I was about to say for the first time in forever, I'm the only person online, but I forgot that Squid joined earlier. Unfortunately, I don't think Squid's going to be able to help me very much with getting Timmy over. I'm gonna, I want to either get like Buzzy or, or Chespy or probably preferably Skipper because I know I can just pay Skipper to, you know, set up the whole transport system back and forth between me and Buzzy to move him. And so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, give Skipper a message and then see if I can get him to log on so I can just pay him to set up all the infrastructure for me. And then I'll get, and then I'll get Timmy over. I think that sounds like a plan. So I've shot him the message. I think until I get a response or, you know, I'm just going to wait around and hope I get a response. But until then, I'm going to do a little bit of administrative work here and there around the place. And then uh, hopefully by the time I'm done with that, we'll have some kind of response. Well, uh, we didn't really get a response, but that's all right. I'm just going to do it myself. It'll be a little bit more uh, difficult than I wanted to. I wanted to just drop some diamonds on the ground, but this is fine. All right, I got Timmy in here. I got I got the fences put in. Bro is chill. Bro is stuck. He's not getting anywhere. I tried using minecarts to move him, but that didn't really work. So I just pushed him all the way. And, but he's here though, and he's loving it. So the mob vote is coming on real quick. I'm gonna sit here. Timmy and I are gonna watch the mob vote together. Sorry, not the mob vote. Why did I say that? Minecraft Live is coming on in a couple of minutes. We're gonna watch it, and we're going to celebrate together whenever the armadillo wins. Right, buddy? Yes, yes. This is Timmy's a certified armadillo fan. He told me himself. He told me himself. But yeah, we're gonna watch that and we will be right back whenever it is over. Timmy, we won! Armadillo won, Timmy, let's go! Look at that, Bruce, so excited! Yeah! Oh my gosh, gamers, I am so excited for Auto Crafters to be put, put in the game. Holy cow, they showed so little during that update, but they showed so much. I am so excited. Anyways, though, that's that's that. That's that's Minecraft Live. Very good event. Very good time. Yes, Timmy. Timmy very much enjoyed it. And where did you go, Timmy? Why did you disappear on me? Anyways, while we were while we were watching, Timmy suggested that we should play some Uno afterwards. So we're gonna do that, and then I'm going to come back and we're gonna work on some buildings of stuff. That thing over there. We're gonna work on building that guy. Jesus Christ, Timmy is w way too good at Uno. I don't know how you can be that good at Uno, but Timmy is. Timmy's way too good. Anyways, like I said, we're gonna be what the. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it looks like there's a giant meatball over the horizon. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it just looks like a giant meatball over there. It's- that is so goofy. Anyways, we're gonna hop on. We're gonna do the best I can with the time that I have and try to get as many layers as possible because honestly, there's nothing better to do than build. So we're gonna hit some time lapse and be back. I mean, if the time lapse works. Alrighty gamers, well it wasn't like a huge amount of work, but it was what I could get done. We got a single layer. This still took three hours, which is not nothing, but then you know what? That's what I got for today. So if we, that's the wrong button. If we take a look at the progress for today, we've done... Oh, what the heck? Wait, it shows a per, just straight up percentage now? Oh my gosh, that's sick. We've done 45.3%, which I believe is 10%. So you know, 10% is good. I'll take 10% for an episode, but... That marks the end of what I've got planned for today. So thank you very much for spending your time with me today. I hope I was able to not waste it. And with that, oh gosh, Whaley Jebs is here. I gotta get out of here. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.